Hey everybody, Brother Jason coming to you for your Friday devotion. I want to share some very special scriptures with you. And these are scriptures out of God's holy word. This isn't a tale. That This isn't a hearsay. This is an actual account of something that actually happened for you and I. And this account is the real reason for this season we, we call Christmas. It is about Jesus Christ. It is about the birth of Jesus Christ, the, the, the greatest gift that has ever been given up to that point and forever. The greatest gift is Jesus Christ. God sent his only son so that, that if we believe in him, that, that we'll never perish. We'll have everlasting life. That's Jesus Christ. Well, I want to read to you a scripture out of the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 6 and 7, was written several hundred years prior to the birth of Jesus Christ. And these scriptures are about, it was a prophecy about the coming Messiah. See, everyone in the Old Testament, they believed that, that there was a coming Messiah. He, has not, he hadn't come yet physically. They believed that there was going to be a Messiah. And Isaiah prophesied about it many hundred years before it ever actually happened. So read out of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. It says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So prophesied again many hundred years before it had ever happened. Isaiah wrote it down, instructed by the Lord God, wrote it down of what was coming. The Messiah was coming. Now we're going to look at Matthew chapter 1. And we're going to read verses 21 through verse 23. So Matthew writes, and, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. See, Joseph here, he had found out his, his wife-to-be, his espoused wife, was pregnant. Though she had known no man, she had known no man, she was still a virgin, found out she was pregnant. He was really confused at what was going on. So an angel of the Lord in, in, in Joseph's sleep, an angel of the Lord came to him, and, and Matthew writes about it here in chapter 1, verse 21 through 23. Again, we read verse 21, and he shall, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. And shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is interpreted God with us. So Matthew writes about, you know, what had happened with Joseph and an angel of the Lord come to Joseph. And, and it was the very beginning. The very beginning would have been prophesied many hundred years before by Isaiah. So now let's look in the book of Luke, the story that many of us have heard around Christmas time. But I want to read you what the scripture has to say in Luke chapter 2, starting in, read, read the whole chapter 2. But we're going to read verses 4 through 20, just uh, for the sake of time on our Friday devotion here. Chapter 2, starting in verse 4. It says, And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was, he was of the house of the lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, Jesus Christ, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day, Christmas day, that is what we celebrate this day, the birth of and, and of Jesus Christ, it says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, 
which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger, and when they had seen it, they made known about abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all things that they had heard and seen. And it was told unto them. So, Great, great scriptures about the account of the birth of Jesus Christ prophesied many years previously. Matthew talked about it where, where the angel of the Lord came to Joseph and explained to him what he was about to be a part of. And then, then you know, Luke tells us the, the Christmas story, the true Christmas story. And I hope each and every one of you realize that the birth of Jesus Christ gives us an opportunity to be saved an opportunity to come to know Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. He came and lived. He left the, the, the thrones of heaven, came down to live physically on earth, only to be sacrificed for our sins, for our sins. So this Christmas season, I hope and I pray that you realize what the true reason for the celebration of Christmas is. It is the celebration of the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ we celebrate his birth. Without the birth, there would have been no Savior. He came and he lived this life for us. I hope and I pray that you realize what he's done for you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you. Just thank you, Lord, for sending your son to die. Lord, to, to be born on this earth, Lord, of a virgin, to live a perfect life. Lord, but knowingly, the whole time, Lord, he came to be the ultimate sacrifice. He came to be the ultimate high priest. Lord, I pray that we realize, we acknowledge, and we live in a way that honors you this Christmas season, Lord. Thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace. Lord, I lift up all of our leaders to you, Lord, from our local to our state to our nation. Lord, thank you for your love. Lord, I pray your hand of protection upon our country. Lord, may you watch over us. May we as Christians, Lord, stand like we have never stood before in honor and glory of you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.